Hey, it's Meg, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be working in my junk journals and I don't really have a plan for what I'm going to do. I just wanted to sit down and do some creating. So I've got some papers in front of me, some paints, all sorts of different things. I've even got two of my junk journals because I can't decide which one I want to work in. Um, maybe I'll end up just doing some background bits. I've no, no idea. So um, I know I've shown you guys um, this little one that I've kind of started recently um, and I've been really enjoying working in this one. So this was the page that I did um, recently with kind of little bits of collage and things. So maybe I'll work in this one. It's got a bunch of different um, papers and pockets and sort of things that I've like stuffed in between the pages that I might want to use. Um, so I'm enjoying this one, but I also have this one, which I don't think I've actually shown. I know I've shown it on my Instagram, but I don't know if I've shown it here on YouTube. So this is like obviously a larger junk journal um, from an old book cover and this was actually made by um, Kaylee Gray. I'll leave a link down below um, to her YouTube and Instagram but I absolutely love her junk journals and I was very lucky to be able to um, purchase one of her junk journals that she makes and I have been a little bit precious about this which sorry Kaylee if you're watching I know you'll be telling me that I should be creating in this I have done a little bit but I'm slowly getting into um, the groove with this and I just love um, all the different papers that she's included so um, I'll just give you a quick kind of flip through um, and there's something there that I can't show you uh, just yet because that's for something um, exciting that's coming up so this is kind of the main thing that I have um, done in this so far and I'm really loving kind of using different textures and paint um, and just playing around with that so that's kind of what I want to do in this journal less kind of any writing and things and more just um, you know working with different textures and collages things like that so there's lots of different um, paper options here to play with um, so yeah, so I really love this. When I'm kind of feeling like I want to do some creating but I don't really know what to do in my journals, um, I kind of turn to making collage papers and kind of getting my creative juices kickstarted that way I guess. So I've brought out um, a bunch of different papers and materials. So I've got some like textured papers here. Let's see what else do I have. That's like an illustration that could be fun. Got some different colors. Maybe even some, some lace I could work into this. I'm not sure. So I've just kind of pulled out lots of different bits and pieces. And to be fair, I probably won't use all of these. I've even got some, some wallpaper. That might be quite fun to see how different mediums take to this. Um, so I've got a couple of options for kind of bases, things like that. And then I also have, I can't remember if I've shown this, I think I have, but I have a giant paper bag that holds all my like other smaller paper bags and um, it's overspilling here as you can see. So all the like tissue wrapping that you get, like I don't know, when you buy a new pair of shoes, that kind of tissue wrapping. Um, and they all have like a different feel. So this one, I don't know if you can hear, it's more kind of uh, plasticky. I've got some pink as well. Um, some brown paper packaging that is from um, the company that we all know um, but yeah you get a ton of this and so this is always good um, collage fodder to keep around so I've got lots of different bits and pieces some more brown paper um, some vellum there tissue paper so as I said one of my favorite things to do when I don't know what to do is to just grab some papers and start making like collage papers um, and things that I can then take to a journal page and use in it. So here you see I've just got some white paint, um, just acrylic, and I'm just kind of honestly making a bit of a mess. Um, I'm just kind of putting it on in like different splotches, adding the, the tissue paper. If you, if you crinkle it up, it adds some nice kind of textures and layers to your to your collage papers. Um, it's something I love to do in my journals and so it's also something I love to do in my collage papers as well. I just find that it adds a really nice like soft effect and often I will just 
paint over the top of it as well which helps to blend it into the papers and so I was feeling like this was a little bit plain so I came in with some pink paint this is a paper artsy paint I believe it's in the shade cherry blossom and so I started adding some splotches of that but I also wanted to tone it down as well contrasting is probably the right word um, so I just wanted to mute it down so I'm adding some extra tissue papers and layers over the top because I just wanted like a softer look um, I've used a lot of pink in my art journal pages and sort of junk journal pages I've noticed recently but I really love that like soft muted pink and so that's what I was trying to go for and the heightened buff that I put on this page was really overpowering so you can see I immediately um, scraped that back off and just sort of put it on like a journal page I had open to the side. But I think the good thing about working on some collage papers or whatever it is like away from your journal is that it really takes the pressure off because I know that the whole thing is not going to end up in my journal page. I mean if I really loved it I could just stick the whole thing in and use it as a page but chances are that's not going to happen. Um, you know having this really allows me to pick like a section that I love so here where I'm adding like an extra doily is me kind of subconsciously saying like I really like this like section of this paper so I'm going to start working on it more building up more layers with some book pages some extra paint and so I can then use like a section of that within my journal page and it I don't know it just like takes the pressure off because I don't feel like everything needs to be perfect and even if there's nothing on the paper that I like like really really like for a page at the end of the day it's just going to be like a background piece anyway so chances are not a lot of it's going to be seen it's just to build up like layers and interest for a background so I decided to tear off that right hand side to use for my background um, just tore it I didn't use any scissors or anything because I feel like it really adds to that more like organic natural look of my papers um, I was just really enjoying the way that like the colors the textures um, everything like that had kind of built up on this and I think with the torn edge it contrasted really nicely against the the brown paper that I have on this page and so I just decided to stick the whole thing in and just kind of use it then as as if I'd done the collage on the page. I wanted to give this page a focal point so I decided to grab my acrylic paints and continue painting so I created this flower and I wasn't using a reference or anything I just thought let's just kind of do a bit of an abstract uh, flower, see how it goes. And I will be honest with you guys, when I was sat here painting this flower and I kind of got to like the final stages of it, because at the beginning I thought, oh, this is okay. Like it's a bit, you know, kind of abstracty, messy, it's fine. But I literally got to the end of the flower and I, I had that moment where, you know, when you just think, I really wish I hadn't done that. Like, I really didn't like it. I think it was the leaves that were, like, um, putting me off, like, the leaves and the stem. I just really, really didn't like it. And I thought, well, for this video, do you know what? I will try and push through and see what I can do. Because, you know, there's, there's two options, I guess. You can either work with it, push through, and see if you like what you can do. Sometimes you can be a bit more creative, make things you didn't think you were going to make anyway. Or you can just turn the page and start again. Both I think are valid um, and in this moment I decided that I wanted to push through and see what I could do. So I wanted to keep the like flower the petals because I quite liked that element but then I was thinking well how can I kind of cover up the bits that I don't like and kind of see how that can work on the page. So I did have a bit of a dilemma and I wasn't sure whether I was going to show this part to you guys or, or tell you, but um, I think you'll know if you kind of watch my videos a lot anyway. I try to be, you know, really kind of um, honest with you guys about like the process and stuff with my mistakes and, you know, not everything is perfect, which I know um, social media is kind of guilty of tricking us into thinking that it is. Um, but I was really like when I was doing this kind of uh, detail work with my pastel pencil on the flowers 
I was absolutely hating this. I was like adding my detail thinking, oh my goodness, the one time I'm like filming as well because it, it always tends to happen when I'm filming as well that I think, oh, I really don't like this. What am I gonna do? Um, and so I decided to just power through it and see what I could do. So my labels came to the rescue for this journal page. I decided to um, just tear one kind of not quite in half, maybe like three quarters because I had the doily as a page on the other side so I knew I couldn't like really stick anything on that side um, and just decided to make out like I had always wanted to have some sort of label um, there. I did like the washi too to kind of frame it and really make it look intentional like I always meant to do it and then I got my black Tombow and just decided to hand letter bloom across the the two pages to bring them together because they were looking a little bit disjointed with how I'd added the label but I think that lettering across really kind of brings the two together and so what I decided to do then was work on some of the details so adding the white dots um, with my Uniball Signo um, and also adding some stickers just for some smaller like detail elements and interest on the page so that kind of like leafy sticker there too. I ordered an embroidery kit recently and it came with this tea bag in this really cute packaging so I decided to save it even though I didn't actually drink the tea because I don't like fruit teas so I gave the tea bag to someone else um, and requested that I have the packaging back so that I could use it in my journal which is such a journal thing to do um, because it was just so cute with like the little flowers, the colour palette, the way it said like happy me on it and so I just thought well that's perfect just to keep in my journal. Um, I debated making it into a pocket but I thought you know what I might just staple it onto the page and just keep it as kind of that colour and inspiration on the page. So that is pretty much everything that I did for this page. I also added this sticker here and just sort of cut around the outline so that I got rid of the white part. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I did for this page. And do you know what? I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out in the end. So um, yeah, a lesson to myself that, um, you know, just keep going, um, trust the process and it will all be okay. So I hope you enjoyed um, joining me today for this kind of um, bit of an impromptu crafty journaling session. If you've made it this far, let me know down in the comments, maybe what you were working on whilst you were watching this video, anything you've been crafting lately, any new projects, I would love to hear about it. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!